All right, you're ready. I'm ready. We're here. Oh, We're here. We're God. truckers. We're trucking once more. I'm trucking. I I am I am in Kansas the city. You're a Kansas City kitty. Kansas City. I'm in Kansas City. Uh, I have six hundred and some odd horses of freedom. Mm, yes. Did you know that pregnant horses are faster? Because uh, they've got an extra horsepower. Yes. Yeah. Okay. There's gonna be jokes like that today. Oh, good God. Okay, free as the wind. Yeah. Uh huh. Free as the wind. It just kicked me. <laughs> 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 okay. Off to a good start. Yes, there are two Kansas cities. Um, can uh, can you go ahead and reinvite me? I guess. Oh boy! All right, stand by for invite number two. Yeah, the Kansas City that everybody thinks about isn't actually Kansas City, Kansas. It's Kansas City, misery. Yes. Yes, it is. That's where all the sporting teams are. Although, Kansas City, Kansas, uh, and actually the state as a whole, is making a bid to get those sporting teams now. Oh. Wait, I see you. There you are. Oh, yeah, here I am. Oh, vehicle malfunction already. What have you done? I don't know. Let me let me look at my truck. Oh, yeah, that'll 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 do it. What are you driving, a Kenworth? Yeah. Um, you know, we might as well just replace that whole thing. <laughs> You're just like, well, we might as well replace the whole truck. That'll take me down to 2%. Uh, 6% wear on the tires? Okay. <laughs> Doctor somehow says, about 30% of a Kenworth. <laughs> Will this become a mighty convoy? Well, Depp's got, like, the I'm a friendly trucker on the weekend, Kenworth, and I've got the murder truck from the adventures of Depp and Tex on Far Cry 5 with a cop. I've replicated murder truck, Depp. Check this out. Oh, you have, yes. Oh, God, you it's got... Murder truck! Oh, God. <laughs> murder truck! Ha <laughs> I, I just thought that the tuxedo paint looked nice, and, and you know it's like blood red and. I went. I went solid black, so as to hide the blood. We should probably go get a job. We should. Murder man. truck was expensive. <laughs> I, I All right. Don't doubt it. There we go. All, All right. Lights are on. Oh, I know what we can do. All right. Uh, <laughs> today we're gonna become forklift certified. Now. Here we go. Oh God, we're. We're follow like, me. We're in like Johnson County. We're in like Olathe. We're not in Kansas City. Don't worry. Follow me. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. You know, this actually does look like Johnson County a little bit. They've got the weird like Oregon Trail stuff everywhere because they want you to remember that they were one of the points on it. And that looks like a good trip. When you played Oregon Trail, what was your background that you chose? Uh, you know, that's been 25 years ago, so I don't remember. Did you see me take that sick-ass J-turn? I did, I did. Man, these tires are fucked. Alright, here we go. Oh, I, I overshot it. Beat the train, beat the train. Oh, you're gonna hit me. No, Please no. don't do that. I finally have an engine powerful enough to overcome the parking brake. <laughs> oh god, yeah, I do not. <laughs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this load of forklifts. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a trucker level. I don't know. Do truckers have power levels? Yeah, you, like stuff unlocks at various levels. I don't know, 20 something. Okay, I'm 22. Alright. Get that forklift contract, yeah, baby. I gotta take the job, okay? Get that forklift contract, baby. Ooh. Gotta get that forklift. We gotta I, drive some... I could make them give me a truck to do this. Really? Yeah. Hey, wait. Is that your... No, no, just spawn me a trailer in the same place. Yeah. Oh. 
<lacht> der Doppeltrailer. Der Doppeltrailer. Alright, it's 1600 miles to Oregon, because apparently they need some forklifts to carry weed. This is some fucking work shit. Look, I'm gonna tell you this much. When I played Oregon Trail, I always chose the banker so you could get extra money for bullets. And every time I could stop, I just stopped. And this is back the Apple IIe version, so you hold the key to turn and you just mash, like, with murder finger. You can hear my horn, right? No. If if I... Yes. You heard that. All right, so just to give you an idea of Diablo finger button pressing... I would press the button that quick while shooting bullets and spinning. I'd get all the animals, right? <laughs> and then I'd stop at the next town and buy more bullets. <laughs> and then I'd be like, oh, I'd never run out of food. Always had, like, eagles come down and eat the kids or whatever, but fuck them. Uh, so here we go. See, that, that just... was my uh, best run on Papers, Please, was, you know, I just figured out how the game sort of works. And I let everybody except, like, my son die of starvation. I stopped feeding him. Turned oh. off the thing and just built up a little bit of wealth, you know? A little bit of capitalism. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then, uh, yeah, be able to make it, you know, out of the country eventually. That is the good end. That is the good end. Uh, now, my, my favorite is, uh, oh, God, you're chasing me. Good lord. Oh, you're taking the uh, passing lane, I see. <laughs> yep. Alright. No well, we got a left-hand turn uh, coming up. Uh -huh. Oh, I don't care about speed limits. Where we're going, I don't need them. Alright, I gotta swing wide to make this at speed. <laughs> That's a sign. Oh, 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 oh good brakes. Alright. Excellent. What? I'm really... I really regret... Uh, blocking part of my front window with a license plate. I I got a I got a license plate. This is BPL text on the front window. Oh, okay. Because I thought that looked cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, not not as cool as I thought. All right. I'm just gonna very gently come up here, and uh, we're gonna take these forklifts to help the the that's Oregon. Horn, and that's that's big horn. Okay. Yeah. There's normal horn, and then there's big horn. Are you honking at me? No. Because I'll fuck you up. I'll go to Wawa, and I'll get like 20 of them cheap, like, egg bacon mixed sausage sandwiches, hey, and I'll just start... Turn? Oh yeah, one second. <laughs> isn't this her turn? Cuts over. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Look, we're just gonna drive. Good Christ, where did they come from? Traffic? Yeah. I don't know. Probably their houses. No, nope, this is my lane now. You can't have it. Exactly. Hey, this is apparently a toll road. Yeah. Yeah. They they put up uh, automatic tolling on uh, I seventy now. Is that because people weren't paying money? Oh, no, it's because uh, the troopers are tired of chasing people down who ran the booths. Oh. Uh, so now they just do it based on the uh, camera of your license plate. I've actually got one unpaid on my desk right here. I need to open and see how much they want. By the way, uh, for the Christmas dump this year, for the mm -hmm. Christmas dump this year, uh, I I was going to announce on stream what I'm what I'm gonna do because we did Far Cry Five with a cop, we did some Sniper Elite with a cop before we just laughed ourselves out of the ballistics. By the way, I'm doing like a hundred. Where are you? I'm doing eighty-seven. All right, I'll just wait for you to catch up. But no, uh, so um, we were we we did Far Cry Five with a cop, which was a let's play that's like three four years in the making, uh, yeah. and that let's well, we play is actually it all at one time. Well, right, but that's let's play is like how we became friends. Like yeah. literally, you see us be go from guys who just hang out to friends, actual friends over the course of that let's play, which is pretty cool. Um, but one of the uh, things that oh, we're speeding uh, violation five thousand. Five thousand. 
I, I gotta beat that now. Hold on. All right. I'm accelerating. But no, um, I've decided what the next one's gonna be. Uh, we're, we're gonna do L.A. Noir with a cop. Okay. I think I'll play and record it, and you can make all of the horrible commentary of all the things I'm doing that are... You know, not a lot of stuff that Phelps can do is actually illegal in, like, 1940s Los Angeles. No, not illegal, just unethical. Like, uh, you, could sh you could shoot a fling felon back then, no problem. I... God, I wish that, uh... I wish that the VR was a little bit better. Yeah, they have a VR part that's just, like, a bank, right? No, no, like, it's, it's no. like, uh, I want to say two or three VR exclusive missions, and then they run you through, like, another three or four of the main story missions, is the VR version. Because I, I remembered seeing somebody do the VR thing that was, uh, that was pretty funny, because I, I forget what channel it was, this was forever ago, but they had a actual guy who was an L.A. cop in the 50s put on VR and do, like, one of the shootouts. And it was funny, because you see this old man yelling at him. He's like, <laughs> reach for the sky, buster! And then he just starts shooting people. And I'm like, that guy's cool. <laughs> Alright, I'm coming up on your right. Is that yeah, a charger? That is yeah, a it charger. is. Uh-huh. Coming through. <laughs> Beep, beep. Oh, we can pass the nearby wait station. Oh, that's good. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you just do? I made an oopsie. Damn it. <laughs> did he need to come back and bump you? Did you need to come back? I needed... This guy behind me is just honking <laughs> patiently. <laughs> I am the reason why there is a traffic jam now. Um, let me just get into my are you Are you going to tow or do you need me to come back and try to bump you over? I, I need Jesus, so I'm going to call it tow. Okay. I, uh, yeah, I it's not an oopsie. I made the news. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how much this repair costs. All right, chat, start writing this down. Start writing this down. All right, uh, we're gonna keep track of how much damage I do. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, where's it? Where's it towing you to? Um, I don't know. Um, okay, sixty-six thousand nine hundred and two dollars. Oh, good God! What did you hit? <laughs> well, sixty-six thousand nine hundred and two dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Who did you kill? <laughs> All right, where are we? Let's see. Uh, uh, let I just me... hit Junction City. Uh, I have no idea. And I think All I'm right. pulling oh. into the Slam Pete Motel. No, oh, ew. Yeah. Okay, I will let you know mm, that the. All right, look, I'm gonna let you know that the um, the forklifts are unharmed. Are they? <laughs> are they Somehow. actually though? I, uh, you know, I don't, I don't like your tone. You're talking to me all wrong. All right, so sixty-six thousand dollars so far. All right, <laughs> I just hit something else. <laughs> I pulled out while looking at my map, and I just t-boned a car. All right, let's leave. I've helped enough. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sixty-six thousand and nine hundred and two dollars so far. I I'm not gonna count the citations because I showed you my citations page when we were playing in the Legion, yeah. and it was like a hundred and ninety-seven thousand dollars a day in traffic citations. Yep. Mind you, that's 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 like 
four or five grand for doing 30 or 40 over at a time and not stopping for a single red light because i have a philosophy how how many people don't say a day don't judge me how many people have ordered something off amazon that you needed right you needed something well amazon promises two day shipping well i'm gonna get it to you today I'm, you're going to get your shit <laughs> today. You get that many in a day. We got to want it. I mean, you know. <laughs> Same day shipping. Cross country. So, yeah, it's there's two day shipping. You're going to pay for my jail time. All right. I am waiting at the restaurant at the rest stop in JC. Uh, it says you're going to have to start trucking hard drugs just to cover the fines. <laughs> See where, where oh. Mr. Tex is at. That's what I thought. It dumped you back into Topeka. Uh, oh, I'm South Topeka. I'm coming on up. Yeah, you'll get here. Yeah, there's a turn. But no, uh, we're gonna do LA Noir with a cop, um, and uh, we can just talk about cop stuff because I'm a former dispatcher and deputy is a cop, yep. and uh, we we can talk about a lot of a lot of fun things. And we both have a love of uh, law enforcement from that period. And uh, I love playing Phelps as a weirdo. Uh, there's no playing. Phelps is just fucking weird. Oh, my favorite is picking up something in front of the people in a case. And then just <laughs> turning it around back and forth. For like eight minutes. Yeah, and they're like, Phelps, it's used tissue. Aha, uh -huh. this doesn't help. Hmm. <laughs> flavor Fair. Wonder what business Flavor Fair is supposed to be? I just hit a cop. Oh, nice. That'll get you here faster. I didn't slow down. <laughs> You know when you hit a like a, a cue ball when you're playing billiards? Yeah. That's what it looked like. He was on the side of the road and now he's in the woods. <laughs> That'll he's show him for doing, doing oh, his job. Son of a bitch, if you hit that trailer. It's gonna cost you some money. Alright. Look, we're doing we're doing our jobs. All right, I am coming down the road at a hundred and two miles an hour. <laughs> All righty. Do I need to come down there and help? No. Oh, I see you. Is that a roundabout? It ain't now. <laughs> Good God! Alright. Breaks are for losers. <laughs> Takes me a second to work up to speed, so I'll, I'll catch up with you when I catch up with you. Eastbound and down. We're going west. Westbound and down. Need me to stop traffic for you? Uh, I'm doing 60 now. I'm slowly catching. I can just barely see you up there. Oh, that's I've nice. still... Yeah. No, I, I just had traffic pop in between you and me. No, it's fine. I just made... I had the zoomies, you know. I can tell. Hey, there you are. Alright. <laughs> the Doppler effect is a thing in this game. I didn't think they'd do it. 
Yeah, I'll be there in a minute. Yeah, your acceleration is something. I don't doubt it. So there's a mod that lets you put 10,000 horsepower engines in these trucks, and I'll tell you this fucking much right now. The game does not like it when you do 200. I believe that. I racked up $300,000 worth of damage to my truck <laughs> in about four minutes. That's a new truck in the game. Twice. <laughs> in four minutes. Now, some might say, oh, you could have babied it. No. No, I can't. Anyone who's seen me drive knows that, you know, yeah. yeah. Oh, Bolt clipped it. Is that a roundabout? Yeah, he did. It was a roundabout, kind of. I went right over the middle of it, got some air. Forklifts are fine. Playing chicken with a trooper? <laughs> I'll get him. I see your trooper. Uh, so, rigs in this game cost about 400,000 new? No, about two, three hundred new. Okay. I How about this one used, but my, I, I buy every one of my fleet brand new trucks. Do you? I buy, I buy used. No, I buy brand new trucks because I want them all to look the same. They all have the black Mac anthems. <laughs> so that way it's just like, you know, the Knight Rider trucks delivering stuff. Yeah. I see you, Jake Sully. <laughs> I see you, Kirk. Do you see me? Uh, All right. Yeah, I paid for the whole truck. I'm going to use the whole truck. Chat's God right. Goddamn right. Texas God damn right. right. God damn. So, uh, he's recently. Lines, he's renting it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Most of these fines are probably legal fees. You know, that's, that's a dimension I hadn't even thought of. That's the way I think of this. Oh, yep, Look at that truck the there. You stop for police? <laughs> Why would you do yeah. that? I see you coming up behind me. Yeah. I see them forklifts. That's my gun sight. <laughs> you better be doing a hundred. I'm gonna get in the slow lane. You better. I got the hammer down. I'm doing 70. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did we learn? I, I don't know what happened. It's all right. We're fine. I jackknifed it on that car. I, where did the cop car go? I, I don't know. Alright, bye. <laughs> where did the, where'd the cop car go? <laughs> From hell's heart, I truck at thee. Yeah, there, I don't see the cop car anymore. Uh, all right. Right. Yeah. Uh, I'm at 30% damage. What are you? More. <laughs> <laughs> I don't doubt it. What if we just pulled in the next place and did some repairs? Okay. I, uh, I had $1,500 to my name, so this will be expensive. Dealer of Death. Uh, first person to ask, uh, when's the next Tech Stocks Battle Tech? All right, here's what happened. On the Patreon, I've been trying to update people as best we can. Had some setbacks. Um, first of all, we kept noticing some errors while we were crunching it, and we've used that time to polish it even further, so it's going to be even better than it would have been a week ago. 
uh, I noticed a few small things while we were doing rendering, and I was like, nope. People have waited long enough, and I'm going to make sure it's goddamn perfect. Uh, the other thing that happened in between is um, I shattered my foot. So <laughs> I, I broke my foot and three of my toes, and that has somewhat occupied my headspace. I apologize, as it has been, as they say, uh, turbo painful. And, uh, yeah, that, that sucks. So, yeah. Um, but, I will say this. I am willing to wager money that my movie will come out before MechWarrior 5 Clans does. And I, I guarantee you that my movie will be a lot more polished than MechWarrior 5 Clans. <laughs> I'm not trying to be mean, but uh, extra polish goes a long way. I've seen some of their art and stuff that they're putting out. They've leaked it, and I'm like, I've got better art. I'm telling a better story. I'm going to take them. It'll be a competition. A friendly one. I'm not trying to be mean. Um, it's one of those things where I, I do enjoy trying to do a good job. And with something... I did not plan to have my video come out anywhere near their release, but that's just kind of serendipitous. I wonder why this guy's shaking and going slow. PGI does not hire my artists as far as I know. Um, but I do talk to them on rare occasion. They're nice people. They've always been nice to me. Uh, CGL does hire my artists. Um, that that they, they do. But, I mean, it's it's kind of a niche circle of, of artists. You know, like people who know what battle mechs are supposed to look like. Where'd Depp go? Uh, I had to slam on my brakes to keep from rear-ending you, and now I'm building speed back up. It's like a head of uh -huh. steam. I see. I'm, I'm behind you. I still have eyes on you. I'm just waiting. But no, uh, I saw a, a image of the right, uh, CSJ Sabercat that they did. And I, I have art of the same in my video, and I'm like, I like Eldonius's more. But I'm biased. I'm biased. Oh, hey, Brass Cog says he builds the Peterbilts. He works for Peterbilt. Oh, nice. Hey, do we need repairs? Don't watch this. <laughs> do we need repairs? Yes. Oh, we going over here now? Is that the way? Is that the exit? Okay. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go to the Peterbilt store. We are actually going to a Pete dealer. Well, isn't Kenworth made by the same parent company? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure it's like everything else that there's 8 million fucking uh, companies under one parent. Oh, God. <laughs> How did what? You how did you not expect me to do that? That's what I do. Where is... I don't see your... I, I hit your trailer and I don't see it anymore. Oh, yeah, no, you're pushing it. You're pushing it down the road. Oh, okay. Well, I'm not worried. I'm not worried at all. Alright, I'm gonna do what you did. It's a nice plan. It gets you real maneuverable for all these little fucking parking lots. I love that you can just leave it wherever, yeah, you know, the cops don't care. Nobody cares. If I was a trucker, I'd have a Peterbilt. I think they look cool. I think old Pete's is... look cool. That's how I'm driving an older Pete. Yeah. Is this the one? Now no. Now service is over here. Oh, yeah. Whoops. It did come up, like, dripping all the fluids with the front smashed in, and we're like, hi. I need service. I think it needs an oil change. <laughs> I think I think there's a hole in the radiator. <laughs> there's like a state trooper hanging out of it. Oh man. 
I do appreciate oh. that they will let you go into debt to make your truck look cooler. Like, that's very, very trucker of them. Yeah, man. Alright, alright, who's got the running total? Let's go ahead and add money to this. Thirty-five thousand six hundred and eighty-seven. Alright. <laughs> Whoo! Alright. Feeling good. But yeah, the Saint the Saint 4G t-shirt for the CDT, that's awesome. Oh my god. <laughs> I just hit a car. <laughs> of course you did. A uh, look, car. he was he pulled out in front of me. <laughs> like, they're like, well, it could happen to anybody. As I plow into one of their employees' <laughs> cars, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. <laughs> Taking I'm a very brand new charger for a scrape. Look, if they didn't want it smashed, why would they park it in front of the tractor dealership? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me get these forklifts. They need us in Oregon. <laughs> you know, the funniest thing is that these forklifts have the propane tanks on them. Uh huh. So they, they're volatile cargo. Oh, uh, yeah. What is, what is my 4% damage to the load so far? That's what you've done to me. I what I've done? Yeah, my only major collision. Uh, we gotta go this way, Tex. I know I'm turning. Okay. I'm turning. I'll this thing is the turning the radius of the moon. I just place myself in such a way that I don't need to turn. Just drive the wrong way. Uh, don't worry about it. It'll it'll be fine. But no, uh, someone in chat said that they were doing a, a Saint 4G shirt, and I think that's badass because they're in the Catalyst demo team. Okay, I just hit that semi, and that do not enter sign. All right, <laughs> we're good. I have the sign on my hood. All right. Are oh, you giving me well, a violation for that? Who saw me? Probably the guys at the dealership. They're not cops. <laughs> yeah, they shouldn't be tattletaling. That's bullshit. All I did was smash that propane truck a little bit. And that sign and that Prius. Exactly. Oh, and the, um, the the guy at the dealership. Yeah, and the guy at but the no. dealership. I'm doing 55 waiting for you to get on. But no, thanks for repping the BPL. Uh, anyone who does the Catalyst uh, demo team or anything else, I, I appreciate that. Oh, posture check. Alright, done. Ooh. But no, I... I appreciate um, all the support. Um, as, as I'm fond of saying on the Patreon, uh, the only reason the BPL exists or anything is, is because we have a pretty decent relationship with folks um, by showing them the respect and the love that they show back to us. So, you know, repping our stuff and all that stuff out there is awesome. And I really appreciate it. Because I see this shit as community theater. You know, we're not in this to be rich. We're in this what the fuck is this up here? What is this? I don't know. I don't recall this ever being on I-80. What is this? Am I going to get fined? Where are you even at? I don't know. North, North Platte? It oh, says the know. archway. Exit now. The archway. Okay. Uh, Did they just build a bridge in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, not worth south what? of Grand Island. So, oh, dude, Grand cops pull Island over a grain truck. Cops don't pull over grain trucks. We don't know what to do with them. It's like a dog. You catch a car. What do you do with it? There's 80 million violations, but they're farmers, so they've got a bunch of exemptions, and the only ones who can keep track are troopers. The Great Platte River Road Archway Monument. That's <laughs> what that is. Okay, uh, I've never seen that, but I try to avoid I-80 if I'm honest. I don't like. All right. Elm Creek and Alma exit. I guess. Exit two fifty seven. Huh. 
turn right at the giant moose. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to hit that giant moose. I want to make the news. Uh, we've, we've made the news already. There's a news what? helicopter that's like, and the rolling roadblock is currently passing Grand Island, Nebraska. <laughs> I went through Nebraska once. Wouldn't recommend it. Uh, people people dog on Kansas, but Nebraska is truly just abandoned. Uh, the Dakotas are, are pretty bad for that, too, until you get up into the Black Hills. Apparently I need to nap or something. All these, mall. all these... That's a mall over the highway. What? Yep. Man, I need to go buy some minis. Let's go to the mall that's really loud. <laughs> Nebraska is worth going to long enough to see the Sack Museum. Yeah, but that's that's an office. That's south of Omaha. Like you can see that and then dip back into into Iowa and nobody will know you're even in Nebraska. Nope. Oh, that's a guardrail. You what we what need to do needs? what? It needs randomized bug splatter on the windshield. I think that would be kinda neat. And then, and then occasionally the it's like a to clear it and it just smears it. Occasionally there's like a bird. <laughs> uh, it's not funny, but it's kind of funny. Oh yeah, pull in for the way station in hell, in hell. I will not. You can't make me. But no, what I what I would like to do. Oh, you went in there. Well, yeah, you were far enough behind me that I figured... That That's how they get you. That's how they get you. They get you in there. There you go. And then they're like, your wheels are missing lug nuts or whatever. But mine are not. I've been a good driver. I'm a good noodle. I've occasionally made accidents. You have. See? I didn't have to pay any money. Well, la dee -da follows the rules. Oh, uh, you may see some stuff in the road. Uh, uh, yeah, we just have caves in Missouri. Uh, the Missouri caves are okay. Uh, I mean, you got Branson, too. Branson's, like, worth a quarter of a Six Flags or something. Yeah, flag. <laughs> yeah, it's it's one and a half flag. Yeah, but uh, look, no, I... Not, so you want to you want to know depressing is as a very poor little rural Missouri child I would see the signs for Branson and be like oh my god it must be so cool I, when I'm grown up I'm going to go to Branson <laughs> man you really aim low don't you I, uh, yeah was aiming for the stars turned out they were the glow in the dark ones on the ceiling of my trailer house nice <laughs> What was, uh, you should tell the story of the, uh, the little kid village that you had, had to, had to do as a child, how you discovered the, the, the terror uh, of trying to... You're, uh, you're talking about Exchange City. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, Exchange City was a thing. Uh, Kansas City was one of the original locations for it. Then they franchised out. It was one of the, the kid cities where, as an educational thing, uh, you were you have a job for a day in this fake city that's in, like, a warehouse. Right. Um, at the time, Exchange City was in a warehouse in downtown KC, like a bad part of town. But not important. So, uh, everybody, everybody started... To uh, work up to it, in, like third grade, they have you balancing fake checkbooks and a bunch of other stuff. To get ready for being an adult. And Kid City's fun, but it's like a test. So everybody's really paranoid about kids about Exchange City. Um, and then you have to start. I'm here with you. You can speed up. All right. You have to start interviewing with the person that the teachers have chosen as the mayor of Exchange City for your trip. To, oh no! Yeah, to do like a round of interviews for a job, and I, uh, being autistic, wore a three-piece suit to my interviews. <laughs> That's a third grader. <laughs> of course. 
Or you like very formal, like yeah, shaking hands, oh, saying yeah, very, perfect. very appreciate. Yeah. I appreciate your time. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm one of those people that you know write something and they're like, oh, uh, you know, your AI lacks warmth. Next time, just respond to me in person. I'm like, I did. I'll see it. I'll see you tomorrow. Nah. Yeah, I get that sometimes. Um. So yeah, I uh, I interviewed for the position of police officer because it was the only one that seemed kind of interesting. Uh, and because I was good at math, the teachers actually told the mayor to make me the banker. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You have to interview to get in. Was this supposed to be a Soviet closed research city? Uh, sort of. So if you didn't get picked for a job, you were just an entrepreneur, which there were like four or five empty um, spaces and you had to make your sign and try to run a business that people would want to spend the uh, Monopoly fund money on. So I uh, was the the banker, so I wore a different three-piece suit because, of course, I had multiples. I was that kind of person, uh, even then, uh, to be the banker at Exchange City. And my secretaries um, were not very good. They, they, they were not very uh, dutiful, and they were not getting paychecks out on time, so people couldn't buy anything because they didn't have the Monopoly fun bugs, because we weren't getting payroll out fast enough, uh, which fell on me because I was the banker and I took a lot of responsibility <laughs> on myself, so I'm just frantically running around in this three-piece suit trying to type everything out. I didn't see anything except the inside of the bank. I never left the bank. You're supposed to, like, you know, take a couple hours to go visit all the other places in the city and see what it's like. I never saw any of it. I was just in full-blown panic for, like, ten hours trying to get payroll out. Several businesses <laughs> failed because they couldn't make payroll rent because payroll had never made it out of time. <laughs> they were defaulting on their multiple payments a day. So, you, you did It's a Wonderful Life. But there's no angels. <laughs> yeah, the secretaries got bored, and they just my tellers ran off. <laughs> oh my god! I was just running a bank by myself. Uh, <laughs> the, the man was managing a fictional financial collapse. I really was. That's the fucked up part. Is it was just a cascade failure. So can I have can I have Chat's judgment on something? <laughs> can can I have can I have uh, Chat's brief judgment on something? I I just you know all right. So I um, celebrated my fortieth birthday by working, as is my custom for all the birthdays I've had. I am. Um, I've become known as someone who is very boring on spending money on themselves. I'm very dutiful. I pay my bills. In my business, my film business, I pay my people union rates and wages. I pay my artists well. Um, I it was it was like 11 years before I paid myself a dime uh, because I just wanted to make sure I was taking care of people, and it, it took the whole Patreon. And people like bullying me to get me to accept money. They were like, Tex, you're not even taking shit for tax. I mean, come on. I was, I was just, it was a lot of pressure. So, um, turn 40, absolutely annihilated my foot. Uh, hobbling around with a boot on. Not a fun time. And I, I decided, you know, I need a midlife crisis. Um, I, 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 didn't, I didn't dump anyone out of my life. I didn't make any radical changes to my lifestyle. I didn't start doing cocaine. I did not buy a powerboat. Um, did not buy a, a, a sports car. Uh, did not book a trip to Europe. Didn't quit my job. Um, instead, I um, did the responsible thing, I think, with my midlife crisis. I purchased a 30 caliber belt-fed machine gun. <laughs> So it's, it's a very you way to handle that. That is, I I think that's a reasonable thing. Now here's 
uh, here's here's what I did. It's a water cooled thirty caliber bell fed machine gun, and a Browning at that. Um, so here's my idea. There are a lot of people in the Legion and the Ox who possess uh, 1903 Springfields and old pump action shotguns and 38 specials, right? Here's my idea. Uh, what what we should do is we should get a bunch of us together and see about... I, it would need to be a lot more money than I possess now, but I would love to shoot a short film. Uh, and here's here's my concept. This is what's running in my head, okay? The movie opens up, and you have uh, it black and white. We'd have to shoot black and white, like Ilford IL-400 black and white. Um, and we'd, we'd sit there, and, and we have an opener, a uh, guy in a London Fog trench coat in the rain, right? And he's on the phone in a phone booth. And you put at the bottom, Innsmouth, Massachusetts, Right? Innsmouth, Massachusetts, 1927. This is, of course, suggesting that this is the the night of the infamous raid on Innsmouth by the U.S. government, right? So, Innsmouth, Massachusetts, 1927. You have the guy in the phone booth. Heavy, heavy accent. Like, you know, Massachusetts accent. He's like, yeah, they're all there. Send in the boys, you know. So you cut to the back of like a 20s Ford truck. You have the BPL and Ox folks back there wearing 1917 Doughboy outfits with a 30 caliber machine gun, Thompson, shotguns, rifles, pistols, right? They're rolling toward Innsmouth. You see the headlights pan across, you know, welcome to Innsmouth, okay? <laughs> they roll up. And one of the guys looks toward the camera and goes, Sarge. Do we have to shoot the whole town? What happened? And the guy goes, I think it's the Germans. So what you have is a bunch of people in fish people, like outfits, right? Like fish heads, flipper arms, whatever, wearing their clothes, walking around in the street. And then you have the BP on the ox as all these doughboys who are convinced that they're the Germans. They're like, that's ah, the fucking Germans. They see a sculpture of Cthulhu and they're like, it's Kaiser Wilhelm. <laughs> They refuse to believe it's Cthulhu. They are too dumb to be harmed by the dark lore and magic. It does. It goes off their smooth brains. There's like whipping grenades in there. They're like, not this time, Kaiser Bill. They hear like the dark speech, and they're like, I don't speak German, Fritz. <laughs> Shadow over clouds, man. Yes. He just using whipping lit dynamite into storefronts and being like, "That'll take those cherries. That'll show them for invading the USA." Uh, well, yeah, I've got everything I would need to do a, a mid twenties uh, sailor. See, there we go. We got this. It was sailors and marines that did the raid. Yeah, and you just have them like, oh god, that would it would be so cool to get a million million squibs, you know, and yeah. just blanks and everything. And it basically Who plays Hoover. <laughs> oh, Hoover. That's a yeah. We'd have to have somebody play Hoover, you know, and be like, send in the boys. God, this this could be fun. I hit a few more things. You need me to slow down? Oh, I'll catch up. Nothing stops the forklifts. Okay, that guy tried. And that guy. Don't worry, I'm fine. I'm cool. I almost took out that 54 Chevy. Why is there a 54 Chevy on I-80? You can't drive fast enough to keep up with traffic. What I think, though, would be fun is just to shoot something like that as, like, just a short film. Like, how, how did this raid go down? And it just shows it's a bunch of, like, Massachusetts National Guardsmen, Marines and Sailors, just shooting everything because they are convinced Kaiser Wilhelm invaded Massachusetts. Is there such thing as a blank firing adapter for a 1919? There is. Yes. Because they need them for training. 
And I have a blank firing adapter for my 1917. That's me. I keep trying to read chat, but then I also keep killing people in cars. Yeah, I run into that same problem. I've uh, I've killed like 80 families so far. The fun thing about uh, you know bolt action rifles is you don't need to blank adapt them. No, and the other thing with bolt action rifles, gas, so they don't need to build up pressure. The other thing with bolt action rifles is you can put really honking huge blanks in there, so you get some really good shots. Like mm -hmm. if we're shooting at night, you get that really nice strobe effect, especially if we had some rain, you know. Have, have just firefights. And what would be great is <laughs> someone charges in one of the buildings with the belt fed, like charging in with it on a canvas yeah, strap. Style. Right. And then you just see from the outside in pitch black the strobe of like 250 rounds of 30 out 6 going off indoors. Yeah. And then the guy comes out and he's like, No more cherries in there, boss. <laughs> There's a lot of Crown Vicks on the road in this game. There are. Uh, more so than in real life in some ways. Alright, so someone asked, can you use the water jacket on the 1917 to make coffee? Alright, I'm going to tell you guys something. And here's a little nugget of information. Um, there are a lot of people with a lot of gun knowledge out there. Uh, it's very easy to get surface level firearms knowledge nowadays. You can just ask an AI, you can ask Google, what have you. However, as someone who's worked in a full auto shop, I will say that there are different levels of knowledge. Um, Water-cooled machine guns do not have a separate channel for the barrel to go through, through the water jacket. It is literally the barrel in the water jacket. Now, you might ask yourself, well, how is it sealed against the water? The correct answer is and this is correct if it is historically correct, and this was manufactured well into the 70s, so most of them have this on there, is that there is an asbestos string product that is used. It is like a thick twine made out of asbestos. So do not drink anything that has been in the water jacket of a water-cooled machine gun. I will recommend very heavily against this. Now, there are actually some ways around this using more modern materials. Uh, there are some uh, Master Makar uh, brilliant, brilliant um, O-rings that are made for, like, furnace-level heat. Uh, I, I plan on using those and getting the asbestos out of my gun. And then there are some lubricants you can use that are actually rated for, like, a fluorine pressure vessel. Uh, it's about $80 a pot, but well worth it. Well worth it. Uh... But yes, I, w I would not drink anything to come out of a, a water-cooled machine gun jacket. It, it, you're probably going to run into asbestos. It's not just, good. Just because there's uh, stories of them doing that back before they knew asbestos was bad. Yeah, I mean, back... Well, God, back before they knew asbestos was bad, remember when we were on stream reading the... Uh, the Sears catalog, you could buy asbestos by the pail, just a pail of loose asbestos fluff. Mm -hmm. And it was for like, oh yeah, you need to fix that crack in your chimney or patch up the back wall on your oven. Here's some loose asbestos. And yep, people used it. In it. There, seal it with tar. Yep. <sighs> yeah, so uh, as asbestos is fairly common in older machine guns. Um, so just fair warning. And by the way, the only reason I haven't caught up to you yet is my truck has conked out a few times. Uh, for okay. no reason. No reason whatsoever. Um, normal truck-related highway reasons. I will say this, however. There is a traffic jam building behind me for some reason. Okay. Uh, it, I didn't do it. Well, for no reason. Uh, the next time I see a spot to stop for repairs, we will stop it. Nonsense. We'll be fine. Uh, looks like I'm coming into Rock Springs, maybe? Rock Springs, eh? Uh -huh. 
Rock Ridge. I don't see any repairs on the right side there. Pull up my map. Yeah, okay, there's repairs on the south side. We don't need it. Onward. Uh, well, I'm about out of fuel. Oh. I got 300 gallon tanks on this, so every accident's really cool. Yeah, I, I don't doubt that. I want people to know who I was. They surely will. But no, um, it Tech Stocks Battletech soon. Uh, we are hoping to do our final render tonight. And then I will be posting it out, and we'll do an at everyone in the aux, and we'll do an at everyone in the BPL, and I'll do an at everyone on the Patreon, and I will ask everyone very kindly. Oh yeah, I see. What are you doing? Why are you stopping? No, don't do that. Wait, where's the gas station? Up ahead. Oh, damn it. And repairs are on the left. All right, all right, all right, I'll get over there. But, no, um, we'll let everyone know, and you guys can just uh, disseminate it amongst the peoples. It'll be good. Don't you dare turn fucking right. Boy, howdy, am I, I, I realized how much it's going to cost to put ammo Death through is my a machine behind gun. behind the wheel. I was the one waiting in traffic. Yeah. I don't stop for nothing. Well, except for gas. And then the game makes me sleep. Or, or you know, have some mind-altering substances in the case of multiplayer games. Yeah, you just automatically take a bump and your guy's, like, good to go. All right. Uh -huh. da -da -da. All right, I'm gonna pull forward and have a nap. I'm just gonna leave my trailer at the pump. All righty. Pump trailer, pump trailer. What do you do? Alright, that's apparently not a parking spot. Which is bullshit. Alright, one of these is a parking spot. Is it you? Is it you? This is not a parking spot either. This game is lying. Do we right. have to buy a fucking slushie to park here or something? You know, I don't even want to anymore. I would rather tear up this gas pump. Oh, that's cute. They put planters by the gas pump. Who would do that? Somebody who wants to, please God, don't tear my pumps out again. I would just come by and pump diesel in there. They don't let me park. You're getting a planter full of diesel. <laughs> I'd be looking at the sign like Farva. Be like, how much for a hot dog? Another 10 gallons? Okay. And then I would just put that much in the planter. I'd put that much. And ordering through the CMP, I've already done that. Yeah, ordering through the CMP is not bad. It's Everybody not hard. Everybody is intimidated by the process because it's a government, but it's really not. Uh, hard. CMP is not government anymore. They are a private corporation. Yeah, none of these, none of these sleepy spots seem to work. Uh, the one over here by the entrance does. You just got to hit it just right. I spent like ten minutes going back and forth in that one. Yeah. But no, uh, when when it comes down to CMP, it is not hard. A lot of people get because you have to like prove that you can shoot, and then you have to join a group that they're official affiliated with. And most of those places are like, give us twenty dollars in dues, and that's it. 
And then you gain access to M1 Garens, 1903 Springfields, M1 Carbines, 1911s, M1917s. Yeah. Yeah. I, and they're they're pretty good. They they have an ocean of armors, and they turn these things out. And you can get an M1 Garen for under $1,000. Hex, where, where's the sweet spot? Not there. I need, I need going. sleepy. Try the middle. Try, try the middle. Uh huh. Try it forward. A little more. Uh huh. A little, a little more. Right, right in there. Nope. Huh? Well, let me do it. Yeah. Nope. So, Guy on, while you've tried to find that, I'll answer some Chad questions. Uh, Guy on Broadway says, Hey Tex, revolving rifles and shotguns are cool, but did anyone make any that were good? Um, the Russians actually made a decent one uh, that, that was decent as a shotgun. Low pressure systems work fine for revolvers in that size. I would not recommend a revolving rifle. Now, here's the reason why. The front of the cylinder of uh, any cylinder setup, there's this little gap, right? And then there's the forcing cone. And in, in, in between that little gap and the forcing cone is a, well, that little area is where a lot of gas leaks out. Now, in a rifle, when you're talking upwards of 40,000 PSI, that's a lot. And you end up with this phenomenon known as uh, flame cutting, where the top strap will actually start being cut apart by that uh, explosion. And the other thing is that um, in a rifle where normally you have to kind of wrap yourself around it or your hands forward, that is inviting uh, dismemberment by munitions, which is um, bad. It's quite bad. So I, I, would not, I would not recommend it. I know that uh, there's a Brazilian company that makes revolving 410 shotguns, low pressure system. They're pretty good to go. Uh, but I, I would not recommend that, no. Why uh, what makes let me sleep? <laughs> there is no sleep for the wicked. Uh, what makes a revolving shotgun different from an automatic shotgun? Well, uh, the automatic shotgun that you're suggesting, the AA-12, um, is a fully automatic uh, firearm. So yeah, that one pull of the trigger, yeah. So that one pull of the trigger will result in multiple discharges of the firearm. A revolver will require a pull each time. And though they may uh, produce <laughs> similar effects, are very different in legality. Though fully automatic shotguns are technically destructive devices. Hey, Tex. Uh-huh. Design me a fully automatic revolving shotgun. Okay. Design want, you one? I want a triple action shotgun. Is it bad that I already know how to do this? <laughs> All right. So basically what I'd be doing is I would have the shells be grabbed on the outside. Uh, the revolver being like a cam sprocket. Oh, God. Basically, yeah. So I'd be doing basically what the, like, Mauser revolver cannons did. Uh, yeah, that's that's doable. I mean, what are you looking for rate of fire? Like 1,800 rounds a minute? Is that good? Let your heart guide you. <laughs> All right, because I, I can get that with electronic primers. The problem is they start to come apart under centrifugal force, but, you know. Uh, imagine trying to sleep in the truck stop and death is just weaving through all the spots like a very loud predatory fish. Yeah, you just hear, like, the shifts and the air brake hisses. Now it's, now it's angry at me because I haven't slept, and I'm going to start accruing a $200 fine every 10 seconds. And eventually I will just pass out while driving. Because that's that's what this game does. That's what this game is. All right, yeah, occasionally. I'm going to try to swing in here once more and see if these sleepy spots work. Okay. You goddamn son of a whore. Come on. I almost hit you. Yeah, I know. I hit that car. Good. I hit that fence. I don't know if the fence deserved it. I just hit another car. 
All right, I'm going in for repair. Who's got the total? Here we go. I found a That's not true. I just did. All right, where's the repair? The yellow lights never come off. I'm always a danger. That's right. <laughs> yellow lights are for your safety. <laughs> All right, here we go. Let's pull in and let's do some repairs. Who's got that running total? Who's got that running total? Nine thousand one hundred and fifty-one. It's not as bad as I thought. No, no, I thought it was a far worse. I've been through three sets of tires this trip. I filled out seven gallons trying to find a sleeping spot. Nature's dumb. I really wish there was a mechanic where if you had the sleeper, it would just let you sleep on the side of the road. And that'd be nice. Like, you know, actual fucking truckers do. I seem to have jackknifed my truck a bit. Already? Uh, Alright, look, the trailer damage went up a lot just now. Apparently you're not supposed to J-turn with a trailer on. Hmm. I'm learning. Alright, I'll catch up with you. I, I'm only doing 40, so you should catch up pretty fast. Alright, here we, here we go. I'm really gonna turn... You're gonna turn... Alright. He's getting off. He doesn't want to play. Never mind. I was trying to get him to do the lane switch, pull in front of him, lane switch, pull in front of him. That you ah! Can't. And no... Okay. No, it isn't. But I will be up there shortly. We are 713 miles to our destination. 713, they're, huh? They're going to get pieces of forklift. Yeah. That is what they're going to get. Probably. They're going to get fork, no lift. Because that's the part that's under the ratchet strap. I was going to say, the forks are actually pretty sturdy. Yeah. They'll get those. Those are under the ratchet strap. The rest will have left. Uh, so, Tex, craziest drivers you've encountered, says North Scorpion. In, oh, in, in, in life? Good lord. All right, so... Uh, okay. Uh, one time... One time, I was I was uh, sitting there at a friend's house, and this guy had like I'd say like a seventy three or seventy four charger, not not a collectible charger. Yeah, they you know, are now. they are now, but it, not not a like not one of the fancy ones. But he had the big four forty he'd put in there, and it didn't fit. He had fucked something up, so he couldn't even close the hood the whole way. <laughs> right so he had that and it was just rusted to shit and he was hold on there's a bunch of traffic I got oh no 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 all right I I uh I'm fine it started again um yep yep I'm I'm cool are, are you are you on all fours or eights or sixteens or whatever I'm, I'm all right. I, just uh, give me a minute. Do you need assistance? Um, I I'll be all right. I just gotta get off this median and this Prius. Uh, <laughs> wow. All right. So, um, yep. That was uh, that was not good. So this guy had this uh, 74, or God, it was it was a. Uh, I want to say it was a 74. Please, please tell me you guys saw that happen in the rearview mirror. I I think they did. Some people just laughed. 
I'm gonna need a towel. All right. Well, so where are you getting towed to? Uh, we'll find out. Uh, Evanston. We're in Evanston. Yeah, so it'll take 47 minutes. Oh, it just took you down the road. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's get this damage total. Yeah. All right, service recommendations only. Ah, uh, boy. Uh, that is another $17,000. All right. So, uh, yeah, guy had that. He had the big 440 in it. And somebody must have assaulted his, like, machismo, right? They they must have said something that was deeply unflattering to him. Yeah. Because like an like a normal adult does when they have access to that kind of horsepower, uh, he just he just like lit it up in the driveway. You know, just smoking tires and shit. You know, I mean, he was really lighting it up, just burning those tires out. And I thought that was bad as hell. Like I was like, man, that is bad. That is that is bad as shit. And then he let off the brake, right? So that's where you fuck up. When you're on a slide, you got all that power ramped up, and you let off the brake. He went across the street into this giant-ass oak tree. And as soon as he hit, the engine stopped, right? But there was a cloud of rust that flew off that car when it happened. It was amazing. Remember, uh, for wipers, it's P for pissing rain. Yeah, yeah, I got my wipers on. All right, there you go. That was a that was an amazing accident. I flew off the bridge. You did. I uh, I, I saw that in the rearview mirror. You just went skyward like the fucking kid from ET, and then fell like Buzz Lightyear. Yeah, ether as that clipped. It's okay. it's just titled Rear View. You need to take some of these clips and just splice them together for our, our beginner start. Because I, I think there's some magic in here. Especially for Is That a Roundabout? Is That but, a Roundabout uh, was pretty good. By the way, did you know? Did you know? Did you know? that automation has an update. Really? Yeah. I think we could do uh, a Beeple car stream. We could we could do Beeple the car people and uh, create some vehicles. I didn't know automation was even still uh, being worked on. It is, apparently. Just very slowly. Uh, but yeah, we could, we could create some fun cars for people. You're saying automation got their update out before uh, Project Zomboid dropped B forty two. Yeah, I don't know what happened with Zomboid. Like I, I remember They're when Zomboid on it, but yeah. Well, it's it's one of those things where they got kind of temporarily uh, had a had a resurgence, like a renaissance when forty one uh, came out. Right, and then and then people have just been like, ah. But I remember when the game first came out, there were a lot of people playing it. Uh, just because it's, it's kind of unique and it's fun. And you can build your own little neat survivor hideaway. And there's a lot of good mods for it uh, where you can do whatever the hell you want. Um, oh, what? Uh-oh. It was... Oh. You I just saw that, that on stream. You slammed on his brakes. <laughs> oh. Well, do you need a toe? I'm stuck. I'm <laughs> I'm stuck on the little breakaway fucking dividers and the fucking Schwanz man is just gonna drive away like he didn't just do this fuck you asshole where's your Mad Max like double barrel shotgun out the window right yeah that's what I need fucking dick <laughs> <laughs> step truck I'm stuck yeah pretty much God, it's going to take me back to Evansville, isn't it? No, Ogden, Utah. Really? Yep. Ogden, Utah. Oh, you're just up the road. Should have just ran I that dick. I did. That was the problem, <laughs> is I hit him at about 85. Okay, let's see what this does. Oh, yeah, $67,000 in damage. Hey, you got to pump them numbers up, them rookie numbers. You, you're the reason that happened. 
Oh, oh well, blame everything on your friends. I see how that is. <laughs> I see how it is. <laughs> that's that's actually how it is, though. <laughs> Ogdenville and North Haverbrook, monorail. All right. Uh, I'm not gonna make that turn. Fuck it. Taking the trailer for a scrape won't cost me anything at this point. Oh, but how are the forklifts? <laughs> that's that's a good question. How are the forklifts? Thirty-three percent damage. <laughs> Uh, hold on, let me check mine. Oh yeah, 60%! <laughs> so you have you... a third of the forklifts left. I have two thirds left. Between the two of us, we've got a whole load. We got the whole load, baby. That's that's why they put us together. We got the whole load. If the tow trucks are doing all the driving, do they get credit for the delivery? How dare you? <laughs> They're not rated to haul these forklifts. They're not certified. God, I was doing so good, too. Well, you made a mistake in choosing friendship. <laughs> Let me just pull this oversized load down this clearly not a business uh, route section of Ogden. Historic downtown Ogden, Utah. As I try to find my way to Truck Route 89. <laughs> I went to Ogden once. It was nice, but everything stopped being out at the same time. Yeah, this place like was everything. pretty abandoned. That's what I mean. Is like It was like at 8 o'clock, everyone went home. Yeah. At the same time. I was like, what? Huh? God. The fucking Mormons are just really after the red light violation tickets. Well, they gotta get you somehow. Well, I heard. You're not... I heard the cop get you. I could hear the siren from over here. Shut up. I mean, isn't the only big thing in Ogden the railroad? Or I don't know, maybe. This is why Toyota has their forklifts delivered in box trucks nailed to the floor. <laughs> Shut up. We're, we're driving. We're drivers. I'm here with you. Those towns are spooky like that. Like reverse vampires. Yeah. First person is 69% damage wins. Nice. Nice. Hex will deliver the forks. Death will deliver the lift. See? That's teamwork. I hit a fire truck. <laughs> Another fork drops. <laughs> I can bypass the way station. Ah, oh, yeah. I never stop at them anymore. Depp it detracts is, from my goal. Depp is collecting red light violations like it's his job. <laughs> Correct. I just, I don't like stopping. I was just trying to get back to tax, man. <laughs> Look, oh, 560 I mean, miles. Uh, uh, that's a tow truck. That's uh, probably the tow truck that's been following us along this We're road. We're putting that guy's kids through college. <laughs> we're putting that guy's kids through doctorates, man. <laughs> I've paid $100,000 to tow trucks and repairs. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't worry about it. Do what normal truckers do. Take out predatory loans. <laughs> predatory loans are the answer to all your ills. Why, yes, I can afford a 28% mortgage <laughs> on a car. 28% six-year loan. When uh, you think about it, it makes you sad. The one and only laughing man says, I'm not joking, Toyota puts them in the truck and puts wooden blocks around the wheels and nails them down with 16 penny nails. Unloading that is a son of a bitch. I believe that. Yeah, but I mean, at least you know you're getting your shit, right? Mm-hmm. You doing the century yet, Tex? Uh, correct. I just made mine. 
You know, when they when they complete the the country, we can do the Lincoln Highway. I want to do the Cannonball Run. You you want to do the Cannonball Run? Cannonball Run would be pretty fun. Yeah, we'll just try to see who can do it faster. I know there's a mod that'll let you drive normal cars. But yeah, cannonball running trucks would be stupid. Uh, did you know that Twitch just played a State Farm commercial when you started talking? (laughs) Of course they did. They know their audience. Um, oh god, yeah, we could, we could get there's what? There's a limit of eight or ten in a lobby? Oh no. <laughs> we could do a cannonball run with eight or ten participants. Have, uh, you know, bullshit prizes for fastest time, highest fines, whatever. I'm going after that highest fines, baby. I will get the highest fines and most damage. I will get two awards. Most time spent over a hundred. <laughs> Ooh. I want to see how fast you guys can drive the Blue Ridge Viaduct. Ah, uh, probably pretty quick. Oh, I just hit a Mustang. <laughs> I just hit a Kenworth. Just hit another Mustang. Watch out for that Kenny in the road. Roger. We're watching out for Caddy. The tow truck driver is following you has a Russian cousin. He's the captain of the Kuznetsov tugboat. Yeah. I hit that Caddy. <laughs> I sent that Caddy to the moon. I don't think like, I will. Hey, Lavinian762 just tipped 690. Nice. Nice. Ether tipped 69 earlier. We did. We were talking, so I didn't mention. It, but that was also. They're nice. telling me to pull into a way station. Yeah, they told me to, but I'm too damaged now. They won't like it. They'll find me anyway. Yeah, they're gonna try. Or in ETS2, the Portugal to St. Petersburg run, the Napoleon, if you will. Oh. Oh my God. Oh sweet Jesus. Okay sweet baby rays. Thing? Okay, uh, I trailer damage is at 69%, so I got that. <laughs> nice. In one go. Truck damage is at over 80%. I rolled it three times. <laughs> I rolled this thing three times. See, this is why I need you in front of me. Number one, so I run into whatever chaos you cause, but two, so the chat can see it. All right, we'll slow down, and I'll get in front of you. You're the one with, like, 200 horsepower more than I do. Well, I did have an accident. Yeah. All right, uh, who's got the, the running total? To? Hold on. Who's got the running total? All right. The new number is 45875 in service fees. Oh. It's a normal amount. Where, where did they tell you to? Okay, you're all the way up in Twin Falls. I guess. Yeah, you're all the way up in uh, in Twin Falls. Yeah, forty five eight seven five is the new total of uh, thing. Hey, and we're not that far from the end. So so far, one hundred fifty six six fifteen. <laughs> You know, it's it's not about the journey. It's it's about the journey <laughs> or something. All right, we'll be all right. We're very brave people. Indeed. Brave explorers on the truck front. I am doing my part. You are. I'm a truck. I'm I'm truck man. All right, hold I, up for me. Hold up. Like, all the traffic? Sure. If that's what trips your trigger. You got it! (laughs) 
By the way, you know what I, I actually saw for sale when I was buying a machine gun? What? A guy had a Marlin potato digger. Oh, nice. Yeah, and I was like, could, wow. Uh, you could reenact the Columbus defense with that. You know, I, I, I've I, shot one before. Uh, it's a bit of a flappy boy. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, some energy behind it. It's, uh, if, if you don't have it in that tripod real good, uh, it will leave. Oh, it that... took me to a different place than it took you, Tex. Why? Yeah, so I'm uh, ahead of you now, again. Alright, I gotta step on it then. Yeah, step on it. Really, uh, you know, mash your toes into it. But, uh, but yeah, if you guys want to... If you wanna, if you wanna see what I'm talking about, look up the 1895 Potato Digger machine gun. There's videos of that thing shooting, and you'll be like, "Good God, what is that action? That is the ultimate and flappy boy." It's pretty flappy. Yeah. They, well, I thought of something dumber. Okay. What if? And I'm just saying here. Uh, using my gunsmithing credentials, I went and got, you know, the SOT letter, right? Yeah. So I can manufacture, right? You know, for research. And I had, you know, uh, the BPL fund me to uh, create a, uh, a Mod Deuce variant, if you will. <laughs> oh, God. In Toggle Lock. All right. You know, like a Luger. Yeah. Well, you know, we keep joking about the nine centimeter Luger. Yeah. What if what if we did that? What if we did a toggle lock fifty cal? Oh good lord. Yeah, the potato digger is horrifying and they called it that because if you uh had it over the lip of a trench and you were shooting it, it would dig a hole. <laughs> it would just It'll shoot, but it'll just start digging a hole. Yeah. Uh, and they're like, oh. Yeah, do not toggle lock the BMG. Why not? The toggle takes a lot of the, the hurt out of the action, you know. It takes a lot of spice out of the pie, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, I'm not saying it wouldn't move around a bit. The automatic trenching tool. Wait, wait. But it's yeah. not a useful hole. No. It, in fact, it makes your trench less. Alright. I'm i going to come up and get behind you. Set your cruise control at like 60. I'm doing 20. I said set it at 60. I have $985 left. <laughs> We're going to make it. grand in the hole. We're not even at the hard part. Like, once we get through fucking Idaho here, it's all twisty, turny mountain passes. I have killed, like, three people to while you were talking. <laughs> I'm I'm coming up the road. I I see that. All right, Look, if, any, if, if, if anyone in chat has more money than brains, uh, do not do not support a toggle lock. BMG. That would be the biggest waste of money. That, that would be a pretty big waste of money. But it would be fun. What okay, what if even worse? Blowback BMG. Oh god. Come on. Straight blowback. Straight blowback and on block. Naturally. You have an on block the size of a coffee can, right? Yeah. You put it in there, and it springs out the top when it's done. Like like the Garen, yeah. Yes, but very large. Yeah, it makes like a fucking uh, gong noise when it ejects. Yeah, that way you know you're ready. You ever see the uh, the double-sized demonstration Garens with the... Yes. Yeah. I wish those worked. <laughs> I, I want to make a comically oversized Garand and be like, this is a big iron now. Oh, alright. I killed that guy. Apparently just hitting people and driving him into fences is bad.
Oh. Yep. Trailer damage, 71% and rising. What's your load damage at? I cannot look to save my life. Let's let that be a surprise. Let's let chat guess. Large steel. Large steel. Why did you make an anti-aircraft gun? I didn't. It's a Garen. It's just a big one. It cries the jaws of life to load. Well, I mean, the Bofors was was just straight blowback. Yeah, it's fair. But it also had a lot of hydraulic actuators and little assisty bits in there. Oh, yeah, 100%. It's not just a big piece of metal clapping its hands. You stress welded the bolt closed. <laughs> what, what's wrong with that? All right, I'm coming up on you. I'm using the passing lane. Oh, yeah, I see. Fuck it, I need to get by. <laughs> there we go. Get out of my way. All right, here we go. You can see me in the rearview mirror in the, uh, the passing lane. I, I can, yeah. You know, for some reason, my trailer isn't letting me go that much faster for some reason. That's weird. Are, are we speed limited by trailer damage now? I don't know, but normally I should be hauling ass. Are we going uphill? Maybe ever so slightly, but I've got... It's not giving me any problems on accelerating. No, we must have been going uphill then. All right, here we go. See, you just have to use the lanes that other people don't. That's that's Mr. Tex on life advice. Alrighty. Idaho 55. We are not taking Idaho 55. Nope. The computer in this thing keeps telling me to turn around as though uh, I'm yeah. doing something wrong. It, it'll do that. You know, I don't see how I could be any wrong. I don't know either. Most most GPS will just assume that it's reading you wrong and you're on the right side of the road. I'm definitely on the right, well, left side of the road, but you know what I mean. I'm only doing 100 miles an hour versus oncoming traffic. That is not the worst thing in the world. I'm My fine. Taxes pay for the whole road. I'm gonna use the whole road. The lane. Not Goddamn taken. straight. Yeah. All right. Is that a guardrail? That's a guardrail. That's an 18 wheeler. That's a fence post. Hold on. Oh boy. No, no, no. It's under control. It's under control. Oh boy. That almost gave me a haircut. Uh oh. No, I'm good. I'm good. All right, crossing, crossing. over. Yep. There we go. Yep. I got it. Kess made me get into like 10 accidents on this game. How Kess so? is this lady in the Legion who has a voice that sounds just like the GPS. So she was saying, take a left turn. And I did it because I have GPS in my car. So I realized I was doing it without thinking and I was just driving into shit. Just take a left turn. Turn around. And I was doing it and hitting things. It was very not nice. Oh, we're, okay, uh, we yeah, we're taking this exit. All right. No, no, we're not. We're taking the one there. Well, yes. This I one. Meant, I meant this highway, not this exit. This is to go 25. No. Oh. Okay. Good enough. Yep. All right, I made it. Okay, we need to pull over and get some rest. Oh, I you're, probably need you're, some... You're EP? I'm EP, and I could probably use some gas. Okay, there's there's gas and EP in repair over here on the right. Hey, Watch look, it's Ontario. Trailer. Oh, God, yeah, I almost T-boned you. I was reading a sign. I was not paying attention. You missed you missed the uh, the Idaho potato sign earlier. Really? Yeah. Huh. It was a nice one. It had a heart shaped potato. Oh. 
All right, who's got that service total? This one's easy. It's only four grand. It's only four grand. Only four grand. Oh, I can afford repairs. Here's the reason why. I have a whole fleet of vehicles. What is the kill count? Uh, you know, I, that's, that's a mod that we should look into commissioning for this game. Kill count? Yeah, it's a kill count. Well, yeah, we just have to look at what is the average amount of miles an hour required to kill someone with an 18-wheeler. Oh, I hit that gas pump. So you did. It's okay. An 18-wheeler hitting a gas pump's not a problem, right? Nah. Nah, they got breakaway bolts. They're fine. Yeah, there go we go. And take my super secret shortcut. <laughs> All right, where is this parking spot? Uh, I have mine. no troubles getting into a, a parking spot, so you shouldn't. I didn't. Excellent. All right. I rear end. Oh, it gave me a red light violation. For what? Because I crossed the line, backing into my trailer. You shouldn't do that. I ran a red light. I don't even read those anymore. Okay, so, Glitched Up Trixie says, Five repair stops totaling $161,615 so far. Oof. Don't say oof. <laughs> that, is, that is the price of getting this forklift to the taco store or wherever we're going. I don't know. Uh, we're taking them to Bend, Oregon, it says. Man, these houses look nice. They actually do. At the AA Ron? At the AA Ron? Yeah, what what houses are you looking at, guys? They're over here. Look at these houses over here. Okay. These look delightful. Oh, okay, yeah. Those are those are interesting. Those are nice little houses. Yeah, they're they're cute in a you know, nineteen twenties kind of way. I like your house. This is how I let you know. You know, that salmon's an interesting color for a house, but it, it looks good. Alright, I'm just gonna take this corner here. It's just like a faded red, or if it's intentionally salmon colored. Look, why don't we go down to the Custy's, Custy's Pancake and Steak. Custy's. Oh, yeah. Everybody loves Custy's Pancake and Steak and Sports Bar. I enjoy a pancake steak. I, I love when they. Put that T-bone in that pan and pour the batter over it. Uh. <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't a bad little part of town, it looks like. There's a little yeah. high school football stadium. It's nice, you know? Oh, 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 not the ambulance. Yeah. I have hit this car twice. <laughs> Are you just bumping them to try to get them out of your way. Yeah. He's gonna learn today. <laughs> you know... <laughs> there I, you go. I don't think this is supposed to be a truck route. It is today. Yeah, this is this is uh, what they call a super two-lane. Because it's, it's a two-lane road, but the lanes are, like, double width. Oh, we discovered a recruitment agency. How nice. The driver oh, staffing cool. agency, direct hire. That's a good sign. I'm taking the inside line. I'm cutting them off. Here we go. Hell yeah. All right, then I'm going to just take a left. There we go. Oh, man. This is that part of the country where all you can hear is wind. Yeah, I know that feeling. It says Burns Ahead on that sign. I hope that's a town name. <laughs> and not like a threat. You know? Yeah. Burns Ahead. Oh yeah, Burns, 112 miles. Oh, okay. Okay, I beat the train. Excellent.
We're doing all right. Yeah, we're on one of them rural highway adventures. Mmm, took out a little bit of corn, but they won't notice. You know, I beans? I read an interesting... Uh, this is corn up here. It's corn on our left, but I went into the field on the... Or it's corn on our right, I went into the field. On, on the, the left road. is wheat, or sorghum, maybe. Yeah. But anyways, oh shit, I'm gonna hit that cop. No, 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 we're no, cool, we're cool. Nah, sweet. Look, he just um, waved us past. Wow, how did that accident even happen? I don't know. But no, uh, I, I read an interesting production note. You know that movie Interstellar? Yes. Right, so uh, did you know that they planted all that corn for that sequence where they drive through the corn? Oh, really? Yeah. And uh, here's the interesting part. They sold the leftover corn after that sequence and made a profit. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, I don't doubt that, actually. It'd be funny if they had autographed it. Autographed, <laughs> autographed by Zimmer. Um, if, if they were clever. A little bit of, a little bit of old Farmer John insurance fraud and claim crop insurance on it. Some yeah. asshole drove through our crop. <laughs> Some asshole with a Ford F-350 and a movie truck. Yeah, and four camera with trucks. Four camera trucks with cranes, and it's very specific with the, the crane and equipment. They're like, oh yeah, Panavision, camera, and uh... I think one of them was shooting IMAX. <laughs> 70 IMAX millimeter prints. Yeah. <laughs> and there was a sound guy too. <laughs> and and your your in the insurance agency in person wearing the t shirt for Interstellar. <laughs> it says like crew on not, the back. Not just Interstellar. It's got a, a screenshot of the corn scene. <laughs> <laughs> it says the, the Interstellar corn crew and gives the date. <laughs> has a picture on the back of them all eating the corn. Oh my god, these twisties! That's because we're, we're off the interstate now. I hate this. I don't know, we're doing pretty well. I think McConaughey was actually really good in that movie. Yeah, he was. He was, like, really decent in that film. That Honestly, that film was pretty good. Uh, really good. Really good, yeah. You know, Strong performances all around, actually. It got overshadowed by some of the other space movies that came out right after, like Gravity, but I like Gravity it. sucked. I hated that movie. Uh, That's not even how Gravity works. No, it's not. Astra uh, was pretty good, actually. I never saw Ad Astra, but I remember there were trailers for it, and then it just disappeared. Yeah, I, I saw it once it hit streaming. Uh, you would like it because it is the best-looking Space Force uniform I have ever seen on film. Huh. It looks well, like nice. a World War II cut uh, dress uniform, but in black, with a black shirt and a black tie. Really oh, that's understated. Nice. He looks like an American military... Uh, officer. Just space force. Just space. Yeah. Um, the the Steve Carroll Space Force show also did a decent job. I mean, it was just an Air Force uniform with a blue shirt. I saw season one of that show. Yeah. Most there were some did. fun. Very few the people saw season two. I did not know they made a season two. <laughs> Uh, anyway, you're there were excited. some funny parts, but they were far between. Yeah. Also, I have to give them a huge minus. Uh, they wasted John Malkovich. Yeah. That's a waste of John Malkovich. That's that's a paddling. The negative being John Malkovich, which did not waste him. I'm driving, and I'm doing an okay job. You, you've been doing a pretty good job through all this. I haven't fucked up a single rural car, or house, or a cornfield. Like I said, I think I hit, I hit the beans, but... Uh-oh. 
Okay, I hit that. I hit that a oh. little bit. Yep. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. Yeah, I, I, I had, I hit that There's same thing. Station? Yeah, watch this. Here's how you go through a way station. Watch this. There you go. Weigh that. That's how you go through a way station. Yeah, be quick. I gave him two toots of the horn and just went right through. If they ain't ready that second to smash that button, you know. <laughs> live load way in yeah like if I can drive through McDonald's I can drive through a way station they need to get with the times oh hey it's that city that promised to hurt us oh Burns I think we're delivering here uh look on the right there's a restaurant just named yummy <laughs> yummy yeah yummy I don't like that no they're pretty busy though what's the name of this what the town what's, is Burns. What, what's on the fucking... What? I'm reading some of these signs. I want to leave. This is Cthulhu Town. You don't You don't want to stop the Walbert? What's a Walbert? Uh, it looks like it's a... Chain... Pharmacy? And the car zone. Motor City car zone. I... Okay, you guys gotta let me over. I'm, I'm losing money here. Hey, look, there's the cemetery of all the people we hit. I, I missed it. Ooh, okay, there's a Quonset hut. What is the Quonset hut? Is that my uh, delivery location? No. Okay. Fuel and mechanic on the right. We actually don't need that right now. Amazingly, we don't. I thought we were delivering in France. No, bend. Bend, bend. Uh, it's all these fucking, yeah. I suppose I should have... I should have consulted a map. And, yeah, consulted the map or realized that this doesn't look like Oregon or... Uh-oh. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't die. That was amazing. Yeah, I had to choose, I had to choose one vehicle to uh, survive, and I chose the blue red four. Amazing. They're gonna go home. Knowing that they've been chosen? They're gonna go home, and their dinner is gonna taste great, because they know that they made it another day. Yep. Oh, fuck fast. Oh. oh my god. I almost killed you. That's a hell of a rock, man. Look wow. at the thing. Look at it. That's what stopped that is me. A Wow. That, That's some bullshit. That did 43% damage. Well, you know what? I'm going to do 10,000 damage to this truck. There you go. That was amazing. You'll never that was amazing. replace that fifth window. <laughs> you speak from experience. <laughs> yeah, I, I know some restoration guys. Oh, Look, all you, all you have to do is cut Lexan. To the same size. Yeah, and heat it with a heat gun. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's not gonna be shitty. Ugh, my left eye's kind of burning, and I don't know why. Well, did you put something on your finger? No. Did you hit that truck back there? I did. I, I hit the Slava uh, charged truck. I saw that truck as I was passing it suddenly jerk and stop. Uh, it wants to take me back to Burns. Oh, I'll wait. Well, I'm at 100% damage, so it's not like I can argue. Just re repair as much as you have to. Oh, yeah, I will. No, service recommendations. That's all you need to do. That. That number. No, I, yep. I did it. There. I'm at 9% damage now. 9% wear damage. And 127... There are 129 grand in the hole. Yep. Hot damn! What's, uh, what's the pay on this job? About 100 and something thousand. I'm getting significantly less. We both are. Did you see my load damage? 71% damage after that. Yeah, that's true. 
It's not going to uh, be good. You and I are probably going to be paying them <laughs> this load. I will threaten I to do to their place of business <laughs> what I have done to these forklifts <laughs> if they do not pay me money. I will threaten. I'll say, like, you see those forklifts, fucko? I will do the same to your business with this truck. And yeah. they'll be like, oh. And I'll be like, yeah. Yeah, I think we've, we've hit the, the tipping point for the Blues Brothers bar tab issue. The show pays $200. <laughs> you drink $300 worth of beer. <laughs> so you owe the venue $100. Haruka Junko says we wanted forklifts, not metal cubes shaped like forklifts. Well, they should have specified. Did they pay their forklift insurance? Not even the hospital, just straight to the cemetery. Uh, Wouldn't it be funny if you get if you got in a head-on accident in this, and then it just showed uh, a funeral, <laughs> like the next the next frame. Like uh, when you died in the old Army Man video games. Yeah. And it would it would show like, you know, a gravestone or a rifle with a helmet on it. Those creeped me out when I was a kid. That's beating me. Uh Tex and Dep, Interstate Widowmakers. <laughs> the rolling wrecking balls. Dude, we're only 72 miles from our goal. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. They will get what's on this trailer. And that's a guarantee. I guarantee it. That's Save Scum Trucking's motto, is you'll get what's on the trailer. <laughs> Save Scum Trucking. <laughs> My company, Save Scum Trucking. Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. My logo's a broken floppy disk. Oh god. That's horrible. And I like it. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Something in the kitchen. Did the sky just turn mysteriously bluer to you? Uh. <laughs> no. No. But oh. you might not want to ask me. <laughs> yeah. Uh, chat, did anybody else see that, or did I go crazy there for a second? You okay, bud? Uh... Do you smell toast? No, don't smell toast. Don't seem to have an aura. Alright. <laughs> Both. Yeah, okay. So they saw it, they saw it. It's not just me. No, the sky was like hazy, and then all of a sudden it snaps, and it's a clear blue sky. Which I know you you can't really appreciate, but it's it's a stark difference, is what I'm saying. Maybe that's what happens when you cross the state line, you know? I I still don't think this is Oregon, though. We're getting there. We are. It'll be. Oh my God. <laughs> what? I I almost T-boned that guy. Why? Because he stopped dead in the middle of the road for some reason. Hey, for a, some reason. There's a bus broke down over here. They got their little they got their little triangles out. Americans don't do that. Like just as no. as people. Like if no, anything, they just we'll no. put out a flare because it's on fire and fire's fucking awesome. It's like it's a typically, July yeah. fireworks, but on the road. It's like, I want to burn the road. Yeah. Mm. What do we got there? Alright, you still with me? I'm I'm coming up. Are you? I had to, I had to slam on the brakes <laughs> because for some reason, a rural service truck slammed on the brakes in the middle of the road. I wouldn't know what you're talking about. I didn't get any warning or accident thingies. Oh shit, we're in Bend. See? Yeah, like, we're like fucking here, man. I wonder how much money we'll make. Yeah, do we want to start guessing the payout? I bet they'll pay us at least $7 to leave. 
Okay, so yeah, you're not paying me for the job, but how much to make me leave? I will open the oil pan in your parking lot. <laughs> I will drain my oil and replace it, but I will not pick it up. I will do an oil change without a drip pan in your parking lot. I'll just let it go on the asphalt, put in new oil, and then leave. Alright. Two dollars, five dollars, uh, eighty-six, highest offer, negative sixty-nine, tree fitty, five dollars. Oh, that's my exit. Walk into the shop with your oily hands clapping aggressively. <laughs> yeah! Uh, Bend Oregon is in the desert. It's a great town, good food and beer. This doesn't look very deserty. Like, it was right on the edge of the desert. That's a tough sign, damn. <laughs> yeah, the signs... Signs in this game are either pushovers or they're real tough. Yeah, they're truck stoppers. And the little fucking plastic sticks that are supposed to just warn you that you've left the road? Yeah, those are also truck stoppers. Those do not break away like they should, nor do uh, lamp posts or, or really anything. Oh, yeah, cool. Like the it's concrete trees. Oh, we're, we're taking uh, forklifts to Home Store. Ooh, Home Store. Yeah. Everybody loves Home Store. Home store is my favorite. Home store is life. Home store is love. Home store has opened the gate to allow me inside. Trailer damage yeah. 58 on the home store gate. Now I can put it where you need it. Are you sure? Yeah, we're gonna do this. Hold on, I gotta Woo! I gotta get off yeah, the I'm, gate I'm... though. Yeah, we we got this. I'm gonna watch you burn eight million gallons of diesel. No, now, I I'm got just this. I'm gonna have them do it, and I'm gonna tell you what my payout is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. All let's right. see. Oh, you want it in that one between those my, trailers? Okay. My rating says reckless. Uh, the damage penalty was two hundred and three thousand dollars. <laughs> I, I got zero. You got zero? I got zero. $203,000 worth of damage. $203,000. Oh, you're going to get it in there. Yeah. I just got to get the trailer going the right way. Uh-huh. All right. Yeah, almost. Okay, little trailer, go in your hole. You know where you need to be. Look, I drove my heart out. That is... This is the worst parking... What? What? Okay. $282,000 damage penalty. Hot damn. All right. Well... At what debt point does the game cut you off? It does not. It doesn't. It lets you <laughs> eventually they just start repoing your shit. Like the <laughs> bank, you know? We're good truckers. Uh, twelve thousand XP. I lost twelve thousand XP on that. I don't see how that's that, that's any of their business. I'm sure they could put together a hell of an insurance claim. <laughs> Hold on. I want to see what my average speed was. Let me oh. pull up a calculator. Okay. Um. <laughs> you drove so great you unlearned stuff. <laughs> All right. So oh, my, my average speed was 50 miles an hour including stops for gas and rest that's kind of scary when you think about it yeah 
fucking oh, depth sound. What are you doing? <laughs> We're not good drivers. <laughs> the concussion's talking. Yeah, it probably is. Oh my god. Uh, I'm everything the, hurts. I'm not even the bad driver between the two of us. Yeah, I figured out a way to make all the money in the game. Yeah. Yeah. I'll show you after the stream. The picture of the damage in the insurance report is just trailer debris. <laughs> it's just it's it's a trailer that's bent like a banana. Trailer debris and one invincible unscratched sign. <laughs> that's amazing. Ugh. I think that's all we've got for you tonight. We've got yeah. uh, Farm Sim Fridays coming up here in a little bit. Ugh. Until you see Pex do worse, were you here when he launched his truck into the air? Like an arrow? Uh, yeah, that was amazing. First of all, I will not apologize for that, which is cool, okay? Half because of, it was very cool. Half of this damage, over half, was done by him. Oh, I mean, I can't take credit for everything. But thank you. Uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, there's a yeah, clip. Someone, watch the clip. Watch that clip before you compliment me. Trust <laughs> me. All uh, right. We will see you all later. See you guys later. Stay safe.